Hey guys, this is Zaman and welcome back to another new tutorial of PowerPoint School. In our today's tutorial, I will show you how to make this infographic percentage bar in just PowerPoint. Before starting out today's tutorial, I want to share something that is I am so excited that PowerPoint School is so close to 100,000 subscribers. I am so grateful to you guys, thanks a lot for all of your great support and if you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe, that really inspires us a lot. So without wasting any further time, let's start our today's tutorial. Here I have already taken a blank slide. At first, pick a rectangle shape, drag it over here. Then go to format from shape fill, change its color to this. From shape outline, select no outline. Now press Ctrl D to make a duplicate, change its color to this. Resize it from this side. Now place it over the previous one, pick a rounded corner rectangle, drag it over here, go to format, from shape fill, change its color, from shape outline, select no outline. Pick a triangle shape, make it a smaller one, go to format, from shape fill, change its color, from shape outline, select no outline, then from rotate, select flip vertical then bring it to here place it in the middle select this two and from merge shape select union now we have to pick a text box drag it over this shape add some percentage values select them set the lines to center place it here in the middle now select this two press ctrl G to group bring it to here holding the ctrl button we have to select this one Press Ctrl G to group. Now again pick a text box, drag it over here. You can add some title text. Selecting this text, change the font to TWC and empty, make it bold. Increase the font size, change the font color and place it over here. Now we have to select all of them, press Ctrl D to duplicate. Bring them to here, press Ctrl D two times more and we will get something like this. Now from here, select the, this shape, go to format from shape field, change its color. Select this one, again change its color. In the same way, we have to change the color of these bubble shape and this rectangle. And do the same for this text boxes so that their color matches with their respected shapes. After changing these colors, we have to make some variation and for that reason, take it a bit right. Now change the percentage value. Select this rectangle, drag it from this side, change this value, drag it to left. Now select this rectangle, resize it from this side, do the same for this one, drag it to right a bit, change the value, select this rectangle and resize it. So actually we are done with creating all the necessary elements, now select all of them, bring them to here. And before we go to the animation part, we have to do something more. Select the first one, holding the shift key, drag it to left. Do the same for the second one, select and holding the shift key, drag it to the left side. We have to do the same thing for all the four percentage bar. And now we can add the animation. Select the first one, go to animation, from add animation, select lines which is under motion paths, from effect option select right. Now we have to select this red arrow and drag this red dot to the right. Keep this on click and duration 1 second. Now go to animation pane. From here I, we can look over animation status and click on this drop down arrow from effect option increase the smooth end and press ok. Select this text box from add animation, select fade, set start after previous and the duration 0.25 seconds. Select this second one from add animation, select lines from motion paths, from effect option select right, select this red arrow, drag this red dot to the right. Then set start after previous and duration 1 second. Click on this drop down arrow from effect option, increase the smooth end and press ok. Select this text box. From add animation, select fade, 
set start after previous and duration 0.25 seconds so now i will use the animation painter tool to copy and paste the animation for that reason select the second one click on animation painter to copy and paste it over here now select this red dot and drag it to the left select this text box click on animation painter to copy the animation and paste it on the new text box after that again select this animated percentage bar click on animation painter to copy the animation and paste it on it select this red dot and drag it to right again select this animated text box click on animation painter to copy and paste it over here now go to home pick a rectangle shape drag it over here to cover this extra portion that we have then go to format from shape fill change its color so that it matches with the background and from shape outline select no outline so now what i will do from our previous slide i'll just copy this text block by pressing ctrl c and paste it here by pressing ctrl v this is really simple to create these text boxes that's why i'm just skipping this part i don't think that you'll face any problem to create these text boxes now if you start the slideshow you can see that all of our animations are working perfectly but we are not done yet I'll show you something more. By changing this animation timing from the animation pane, I'll show you another trick. But first, let me make a duplicate of this whole slide. And from here, drag this third animation to the second position. Now go to animation, set start with previous. Select this one, drag it over here. Set start with previous. Do the same for this one, drag it over here and set start with previous. Now for this fade animation, select this one, set a start with previous, increase the delay to 0.75 seconds, select the second fade animation, set a start with previous, do the same for the third one, set a start with previous and do the same for the last one, just set start with previous. Now if you start the slideshow, you can see that our animation are working as expected. You can download this whole template, I'll give the download link in the video description. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you give a like for this video. If you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe, share with your friends and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you get a notification when we upload a new video. That's all for today, hope to see you in the next tutorial and thanks for watching.